coming up on today's episode of the AMA Drone Report. The FAA posts RFI to gather data for remote ID. Recreational UAS registration is extended. And this drone can play dodgeball. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA has posted a request for information seeking input from the manned aviation community regarding whether or how they can potentially receive and use UAS remote ID information to further enhance safety by reducing collision risks at lower altitudes. One critical element of implementing remote ID will be establishing a cooperative data exchange mechanism between the FAA and the remote ID UAS service supplier, USS. The FAA is proposing to implement the remote identification requirements in a way that will allow the marketplace to grow in collaboration with the FAA. The FAA anticipates that USS roles and services will continue to expand and may include services that will provide value for the manned aviation community. The remote ID NPRM does not specifically address the means by which low-altitude manned aviators, such as aerial applicators and helicopter pilots, could participate in remote ID, access data from the remote ID U. USS, or otherwise benefit from the remote ID information being transmitted from UAS. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for today's Drone Minute. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover recently set a record for the steepest terrain it's ever climbed, cresting the green hue pediment. Just before making this accomplishment, the rover took a selfie capturing the scene just below Green Hue. In front of the rover is a hole it drilled while sampling a bedrock target called Hutton. The entire selfie is a 360 degree panorama stitched together from 86 images relayed to Earth. Delaware County, Indiana issued a disaster emergency declaration mandating non-essential businesses must immediately close and cease operations to slow the spread of COVID-19. As a result, the AMA International Aero Modeling Center and headquarters are immediately closed to the public and staff until further notice. The AMA has been preparing for this scenario and has implemented a remote work program to sustain most of its member services. Queensland University of Technology researchers will apply their innovative method for detecting koalas using drones and infrared imaging in a collaborative project to identify wildlife population in bushfire-affected areas. Called the Sunshine Coast Research Project, researchers will be using technology and artificial intelligence to create a census of animals that survived the bushfires. A special algorithm was created to identify the heat signatures of koalas, which can be very difficult to spot from the ground. For over two decades, the Aero News Network crew takes a day out of each year to poke fun at the aviation world and ourselves in our annual April 1st edition. We'd like to invite you to suggest April 1st ideas or topics that truly deserve a little special attention. If you'd like to contribute to the laughs, just email editor at aero-news.net. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Drones can do many things, but avoiding obstacles is not their strongest suit. Although many are equipped with cameras that can detect obstacles, it typically takes 20 to 40 milliseconds for the drone to process the image and react. And while that may seem quick, it's not enough to avoid a bird or even a static obstacle when the drone is flying at high speeds. This can be a problem when drones are used in unpredictable environments. In order to solve this problem, researchers at the University of Zurich have equipped a quadcopter with special cameras and algorithms that reduce its reaction time down to 3.5 milliseconds, enough to avoid a ball thrown at it from a short distance. The result can make drones more effective in situations such as the aftermath of a natural disaster. The researchers said their ultimate goal is to one day make autonomous drones able to navigate just as good as human pilots. 
With everything going on these days, there's a little temporary relief for those of you in need of UAS registration renewal. If you received an email on March 13th from the FAA about extending your UAS registration, your registration date has been extended to December 12th of 2020. And while your registration number hasn't changed, you'll still want to print a new registration card at FAADroneZone.FAA.gov. The FAA will email you 180 days before you're asked to renew your registration. And that wraps up this week's drone report. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. I'll see you tomorrow.